Hey guys, it's phase one. Today I'd like to quickly go over the new changes to the roadmap. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe for more Star Citizen content such as this. I also stream on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So uh, go ahead and give me a follow there if you'd like to play some Star Citizen and hang out. Um, I also have um, the other social media platforms as well. I have Twitter, I have Instagram as well. So you can find my links uh, in the description below. Without any further ado, let's get into it. All right, so CIG just released this new um, updated roadmap. I um, mean, they provided some details on, on some of the changes that they wanna uh, implement um, as of today moving forward so i'm just going to quickly go over some of the some of these things that they they mentioned here um it's quite an extensive list um, so i'm going to quickly go over just to give you guys some quick understanding on what's happening and what we should expect in the future uh for this pack for 2021 all right so it looks like um for hacking itself they have moved it from 313 to 314 um they the feature is mostly completed but um there are some things that they need to work out before they can push it um put put it into the game um really so so that's what's happening right there it's been moved to 314 um object push and pull so after evaluating the work object object push and pull we found that it's feasible to target it to this quarter so we're gonna we should expect it for 313 so we're getting it sooner than later so that's good news um so for mounted guns it looks like they moved it uh mounted guns to a different team so this is not really critical for us i don't think it has affected um the delivery time for it so i don't think we need to worry so much about that and the tumble tank it looks like they're going to be pushing it to 313 as well which is really really good news because we get an opportunity to see it and see how we can implement it into the game especially when we're doing pvps and, and the scenarios that some of the orgs do with with um ground vehicles or planet side type of um scenarios that we like to create so this is going to be really interesting to have tanks in the game so this is awesome i really look forward to that so now they've renamed the iCash into um some of the services that they will be providing with persistent streaming so when you hear persistent streaming just know that iCash is also included in that so you may not see moving forward you may not see what i you may not see iCash in the roadmap itself but just know that when they mention persistent streaming it's 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 included in there as well so so persistent streaming and server meshing so server meshing is an ongoing initiative that includes a variety of features and technology that help unlock the ability to expand the content and player count in Star Citizen in the Star Citizen universe. Um, tasks um, associated with this with the deliverables span across multiple teams and disciplines, and you will find uh, work being done all over all four quarters uh, currently visible in the roadmap. So it looks like they are. Um, they will be working this through working through this throughout the year but what they're ideally saying is even though we don't see it in the roadmap it doesn't mean that they're not working on it so until they reach the point where they're 70 percent confident then they will be able to put it onto the roadmap for, for us to see whether it's going to make it to either 315 or 316 or even earlier than that so hopefully they they, they get to the, the, themselves to the point where they're 70 percent. that way we can start seeing when we should expect uh, some of the persistent streaming and um, server meshing as well so right here with iCash they were saying that um, it's ideally they're saying that it's it's included in the persistent streaming so I'm not gonna go into that right now so um, so for weapon content team um, so I think what they're saying is a uh, weapon content team has wrapped their planning just barely outside of the window to to add it to add their deliverables to the release view for today's publish also this one they're saying that they will have more details about weapons uh, from the weapons team for the next publish so which will be um two weeks from now this wednesday so um, we should expect more details on that and for the quartet group downstream content so as mentioned when we released the new roadmap in december once we started adding downstream teams the content will only go out two quarters 
so this is because the content beyond that is too unreliable and dependable dependent on upstream team schedules this is an important reminder because now that we're adding the quartet group team listed below some of them are downstream teams meaning you will only see two quarters of scheduled content so that that kind of explains itself all right so um they mentioned a list of some of the new teams that they're adding so you guys can quickly just see that but what i, I really wanted to show you guys was some of the changes that they're going to be giving us um for, for the next uh four patches here so so what they're the new uh deliverables are the object push and pull has been put to have been pushed to 313 and the turnbull tank so when it comes to 314 now we're going to be seeing the new crusader the orison landing zone the very first version of it hacking as we moved over to 314 we're going to see npc healing so if we're going to see npc healing we can expect personal healing as well real player he as well and also um, radar and scanning we should expect that mission spawning clause mission spawn closets um, after features um, physical inventory uh, tech healing which is also the same thing as similar it's gonna be related to the, the healing um, for NPCs um, weapon charge and drain okay so I think maybe this is like reloading or energy weapon recharging and, and things of things of that nature the constellation Taurus, a lot of people are gonna be happy about that. Um, shield system tech replacement. So they're gonna be giving us a, a better shield system where you can actually target um, the shields of the, the actual shield components of a ship. That way you can take it out and actually shut down the shields itself. I read a little bit about that, which is pretty cool, it's interesting. Um, they're gonna be migrating the legacy vehicle XMLs to data core and vehicle model swapping. So. They put all this under 314, which is exciting to see. So now 315, they're gonna have small home outpost co um, colonialism. Um, so that means these are gonna be outposts that are gonna be more essentially homes for NPCs. So it'll be quite interesting to see them um, scattered all over the, the the Stanton system, be able to be, be able to visit them, which is very interesting. I'm, I'm interested to see that salvage um, tier one. So we're gonna get to see the salvage coming 315 so if salvage is coming so i can assume that the venture is going to be coming with that hopefully it does um player interact interaction experience um actor feature for eva2 so the new experience for eva is also going to be coming in 315 zero g push and pull um weapon magazine stripping and refilling so you're going to be reloading your own magazines it's similar to escape from tarkov where you you can find ammo and you can reload it manually yourself i think that's cool it's going to add to the immersion i'm quite excited to uh see that and cutting tier one tier zero sorry and um bombs and space mines which is this is going to be very interesting i really want to see how they're going to enable this right i think maybe we might you might see the nautilus coming sooner than we think let's see Right, and then the Crusader Starfighters Inferno and the Ion, which is quite exciting. A lot of people is really waiting for this ship. Um, Crusader A2 Hercules will also be released then. And then the Redeemer, a lot of people that own the Redeemer, um, we're gonna be excited to see that as well. And the ship interior exterior calling. So that's it. Those are the ones that we can expect on the 315. And also uh, for 316, we can expect Orison version 2. So that's going to be the updated version of Orison itself. And then the um, the fire extingu extinguisher tech. We have been seeing a lot of um, CIG has been revealing about how they've been working on fire, the fire tech um, for quite some time now. So it's going to be interesting to see um, us fighting fires in our ship. So that's going to be really cool to see um so lockers and inventory as well as physicalized weapons and ha weapons handling so this is going to be really really cool to see this um also ladder tier one um prone player slide we've seen a little bit of this um in the last um isc at the end so this is pretty cool that they're working on this um weapon misfire and wear shield um ship shield emitters and origin m50 engine swapping so I guess you're going to be able to swap in the engines for the m50 itself and a dynamic door alignment and vehicles 
all right so those are what we can expect for 316 itself all right so that's what i wanted to quickly go over just to give you guys a quick upload on what's going on um for star citizen so uh, yeah so if you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed already make sure you do and i am on twitter um, i am on um twitch and if, and if you'd like to hang out and play, play some star citizen make sure you follow me there as well my social media platform um, um links are also in the description below all right i will see you on the next one